Hey guys, and welcome to the garage. Uh, today, <laughs> well, there's some new stuff. I'll have to cover this bike in a different video. This is a 1991 uh, CB750 Nighthawk uh, that I picked up recently. It has, it's in mint condition. It was barely written. It has less than 3,000 miles on it, and it's incredible. Uh, little side note, my very first bike was a CB750 Nighthawk in yellow, and I've always regretted selling it. So when this one came up, I snagged it right away. It was a super amazing deal, which I'll get into in another video. But, it, uh, and I got two more bikes coming, okay? And even though I'm very fortunate, I got a lot of room in this garage. Um, I, I, I am also doing some other projects and stuff like that. I, I would like to kind of keep it kind of tidy. Um, so I thought with those two bikes coming, I'll start figuring out if there's these wheel chucks will help me keep the bikes a little bit more compact and close together. Um, I'm yet to find that out, but those two bikes aren't here yet. So we're just kind of doing a compro between the track side unit and this eBay unit. The eBay unit is basically a clone of the track side. Um, and I like them both. Okay. Um, I'll give you just a real quick rundown of the things I don't like about the eBay unit. One, I don't like that this piece swivels. There's no reason for this to ever swivel, in my opinion anyway. Uh, and I've installed it in the way that the picture showed with the metal pointing down, not up. Um, and I can't imagine why you'd ever want it like this, right? That doesn't make any sense. So why isn't this fixed to this like that unit is, right? The other is this comes in two pieces. Okay, and it kind of swivels back and when, as it swivels back and forth, so it swivels forward, it locks together tighter, which is cool. And when it swivels back, it widens so that your tire can get out. That's actually a pretty clever idea. And it has this little lock that prevents your bike from accidentally rolling back. I think that's super nice. Um, the boots weren't on too tight. Uh, well, they were actually really slippery, so the whole unit would slide forward pretty violently when you, when you moved. So what I did is I put some CA glue in there, and it, it's been holding okay. Now, that guy over there uh, weighs, they, they both weigh about the same. But what I like about this one is that this piece right here is welded on, okay? And then this is just one piece. It gives it a little bit more stability, I feel like. Plus, this has these um, tie-down hooks that you can use to tie down your bike. Now, granted, that's a little too close to the bike to probably make a huge difference, but it will make your bike a little bit more stable and you can kind of uh, ratchet down on it as much as you want, I guess. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, I find this one to be a little bit more stable, actually a lot more stable, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, hopefully the footage will come out uh, okay because I'm about to put the camera up. Uh, over here. Yeah, that should be all right. So I'll try to talk a little loudly. I don't really have a call, like a lapel mic or anything. Uh, I'll, I'll show you rolling on this uh, Z first. And then, uh, then we'll do this so you can see them both. Um, so... My back has been out the past two weeks, two, three weeks, uh, really badly. So it's going to take me a little longer than usual to do stuff like this, but I'm trying not to exert any additional pressure. You'll line it up a little bit better. All right, here we go. So I want you to kind of pay attention to how much this unit slides, too. So it's in there pretty good. It's relatively straight. And if my back was not out, I would try to lift the back of the bike a little bit and move it just a tiny bit. Let's see if I can still do that. Okay, so now that's in. And you notice the unit itself didn't really move very much. And the bike is super stable. I mean, I can move it back and forth a little bit, but I have no worries that this is about to come out. None. I love it. Really nice. Now let's do this guy. So maybe I can actually line this up a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna unlock it, push it down. 
All right. With this one, this is a much heavier butt, so I like to just get on it to see if I can get a nice little start. Okay. That didn't move that time either, so that's pretty good. But check this out. It like moves so far to one end and the other. And I'm trying to look at it. Let me grab the camera and show you. Sorry if you couldn't hear me very well, but here we are. Um, so look at how much this moves. Holy shit. That actually feels like if I let it, it could totally drop. <laughs> uh, I mean, when it's leaning. Look at that. It's just falling on its own, kind of. I don't feel super safe with this, honestly. So um, I'm sure it is safe, but Jesus. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to put the little lock pin here. But man, you kind of see what I mean, right? It's like super wobbly. Whoa, whoa, right? Okay, and you know, I got kids and stuff. They can come in the garage and start fooling around and if they drop the bike on, their, on themselves, that's a, it's gonna hurt. This one, look at that. I'm pushing it as much as I can and it really is not moving very much and it always kind of centers back to center. See, push, center, pull, center, right? With this one, push, not coming back. Pull, not coming back. So I, I'm being extra cautious in case you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's worth saving the money <laughs> is what I'm saying. Just buy the trackside unit. Um, give me your feedback. If you feel like I need to tighten down on the knots, uh, knots to, to make it um, more stable. Let me know. I don't think that's it, honestly. I think it's, I think the problem is this, this piece not being welded in. That's probably what's moving around. Cause look at that. You've got total play space in here. So I'm not a huge fan of that whole thing. I like how it totally matches the color of the bike. <laughs> I think that's really cool. That was a total coincidence, by the way. Uh, I feel like it's probably safe enough, guys. But uh, I'm going to invest in more trackside units. So if you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear them because this is my first experience with this sort of stationary wheel chalk. Okay, and uh, and you probably have some tips for me. You have some. You know. You notice something I'm doing wrong. You may have some tips on how I maybe have assembled this incorrectly. They both have mounting holes that you can mount them to the floor or to the back of your truck. And if you if you got these this sort of uh, wheel chuck mounted to the back of your truck, uh, to, to the bed of your truck rather, uh, please comment and let me know because I, I'd really love to get something for the back of my truck. Um, but I'm looking for something I can maybe like remove easily because that's a very, like easily, remove easily. Okay, that's the key. Like not like, not like spend 25 minutes trying to undo bolts and stuff. Uh, if there's something like that on the market, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, so I can reclaim hundred percent of the truck bed really is my goal. But for now, these two will do, um, whoa, shit. You see, I can't trust this goddamn thing. I'm going to take it off as soon as this video is done. Holy shit. That's scary. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a lighter bike on here. Uh, when, when the lighter bike gets here, um, cause this is, uh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, that is a super sketch. Uh, super sketchy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put that down in case it falls this way. At least that'll catch it. Not that that's going to do much good because there may be maybe carrying too much momentum by then. Um, again, I, I don't plan to keep it on here. All right. So. What's the moral of the story? Uh, <laughs> unless you guys can think of a way that I'm doing this wrong, I feel like this unit is not really that stable. And some of the reviews actually, uh, I think I read written reviews on this one, or maybe not. Um, they may have said that. I am super impressed with the trackside unit though. And 
um, I'm uh, very likely going to pick up a couple more of those. Okay, guys, well, click that subscribe button, uh, and um, I'll have a video on how I got this bike and what I plan to do with it um, soon. And then there'll be a video on all the bikes that are coming. There's two more bikes coming to the garage, like I said, that, are, that I'm ridiculously excited for, uh, and I cannot wait. Um, and I uh, hope to share that with you guys. And one of those, guys, one of those bikes will probably see some... Uh, very mild track time because it's a smaller bike and probably uh, suited for that a lot better. So uh, talk to you guys soon and uh, hope to see you again.